HSBC UK was looking for a sponsorship platform to promote its brand. It was my idea that we should come and talk with historic royal palaces about the possibility of doing something at Kensington Palace. They suggested that the Diana Princess of Wales by Mario Testino exhibition would be exactly right for us, and I couldn't agree more. By associating ourselves with the sponsorship, we've got wonderful brand exposure, we've got an amazing location where we can entertain our clients, and the sponsorship is perceived by our clients as being iconic, atmospheric, exclusive, and tremendously exciting. Well, I used to visit Kew in my 20s when I was a student, and in fact I visited the palace, it was open then, but it was empty, so you'd walk in, there was no one around, it was cold, it was dark, it had the old uh, sort of, I think, glass cabinets, but essentially nothing, and I knew nothing about its history. And then I moved on, I forgot about it. And then a couple of years ago, I met a, an HRP Development Committee member, and she explained what was happening in the restoration, which I hadn't heard about, and she said, well, I, I'd like to come and visit. And obviously, I, I, I had a connection, I used to live locally. So I said yes, and I, I came to visit, and it was fascinating. It was coming to life. I learned about the history. I had no idea it was a royal residence, I think, for oh, over 20 years. And it seemed to me to be, in a way, a poor cousin of the large palaces of HRP, a little bit, a little bit ignored, and of a scale where an individual donor like me can make a difference. So um, I thought I'd get involved. Marsh gets returns from its association with the historic royal palaces in a number of ways. Uh, we need to focus first and foremost on our communities, the communities in which we work, and this is a way of us putting something back into those communities. We need to focus on what our employees want to get out of community programs and something special about working with Marsh. Uh, and we need to focus on activities that our clients enjoy. And in all three of those areas, Historic Royal Palaces provides a huge return on our investment, if you like. With our employees, they get access to the Historic Royal Palaces. We use the tower more than the other four because it's so near for us. But this allows our employees to, to go and touch British history in their own time um, at a discounted cost, and so as an employee benefit. Uh, with respect to our clients, when they come into town, many of our clients come from international locations into London, and we're giving them a piece of London, uh, a piece of British history that you really can't buy. The opportunity to go and visit the Crown Jewels out of hours is just a very special experience and, it, and it's memorable for them uh, and differentiates Marsh in their minds as much as it differentiates London. And then for our community programmes, we, we bring together what we do from a charitable perspective with what we do for our people. So for instance, we've hosted um, music days at the Tower of London for our employees with the City of London Symphonia, somebody else that we work with. And so bringing the Tower together with our employees, together with our community programmes, we get a lot of return out of it. It's a great surprise to virtually everybody that we talk to that we are not funded by the government, nor the Crown, nor indeed any public agency. We are entirely self-funding charity. All our work, the work of conservation, of education, of operating these places, of making them available in so many ways to the public and helping people to enjoy them and learn from them, all of that has to be paid for by money that we earn. So that money comes through visitors paying to visit, but it also comes through our commercial work and critically, of course, through the support that we receive from individuals and from companies uh, to help achieve what we want to do in the future. We have aspirations to really exploit the potential that these places have for people to learn about history, to understand how the past shaped the present, to help people make sense of their lives. And so that means doing more in terms of programming. It also means doing more in terms of developing the palaces, representing them, opening new facilities, and generally making absolutely the most of this extraordinary cultural asset of which we're the guardians on behalf of the nation. HSBC is very keen on promoting the work by younger artists and Rachel Kneebone sconces, the chairs by Thomas Messel, the specially created magnetic wallpaper, all add up to making this much, much more than just a straightforward photographic exhibition. We worked very closely with historic royal palaces. They did their very best to find out exactly what we needed and then they went to extreme lengths to make sure that we got what we wanted. They suggested interesting ways of using their facilities. They threw open the doors at any hour of the day or night. We've managed to do breakfast, we've done dinners, we've done parties. Everything's been successful and it's all been very, very different. I think any donor will tell you, it's very hard to know exactly what it is you get. 
But for me, I'm not an expert, I'm not an architect, I can't help that way. I'm a businessman um, and it is a thing I can do, it's a contribution I can make. What I've done, which is make a donation to help the restoration of Kew Palace, is a way of, of connecting without spending time, which most of my colleagues and people I know don't have, uh, w without having expertise. It's a way of connecting with your heritage, it's a way of uh, uh, making a tangible contribution and of course what's happened is I've been brought into a group which is all the people at Historic Royal Palace who have common interests to mine so it's very very interesting to meet all these people the experts the historians the people who are doing the restoration here and indeed all the other people at the tower and Hampton Court and so on the HRP if you like community is a very warm one and it's one which whose company we really enjoy so I would say that it is just one way in which you can become connected in a tangible way with your own heritage. But of course a successful sponsorship is more than glamorous parties. We have to put something back. As part of our corporate and social responsibility program, I'm delighted that our contribution to the sponsorship is making a difference. Here we're helping to preserve part of the Royal Dress Collection, a snapshot in time, dresses by international designers preserved in their context. They're available then for students of architecture, of design, of fabric. I can't think of another sponsorship that would give us so many different aspects and ultimately leads to the enjoyment of our clients and of the public. So we're getting something out of it and we're putting something back. We welcome everyone who can support us in our cause, individuals or corporations. And we do that not just because we, we hope for um, patronage and support without us giving anything back. We also understand that giving is about the idea of partnership. So it's about working with people to help them uh, support us, but also to get what that is they're looking for from the association with us.